most favored nation. I've done podcasts on that, but that's, it's a risky business. Again, 70% make it from phase one to two, 30% make it from phase two to three, 60% make, uh, submit for approval. And overall, less than 10% of drugs that ever enter phase one get approved. So imagine that casino analogy but I'll tell you at the beginning of your 15 year journey, you're about to do all this every day, 2 million every day for 15 years. You won't know the results and only 10% of people that do it win, but then they win big. Like you're talking about multi-billion dollar drugs in some cases. And then you can start doing other indications where you can maybe bypass phase one and two and go to phase three. So that's it. I mean, there's adaptive trials that I've discussed where you could modify study parameters in real time. These are very popular in oncology and rare disease. I think they'll become increasingly more popular. There's platform and basket trials, so shared infrastructure for testing multiple drugs or indications. The big pharma do this well. 